massive numbers of zombies moving very quickly, uh, as you can see on the screen there. Um, and so if, for a game, that's really where we want to be looking. Um, whereas the book is very slow zombies, as you know. Mm. So um, we've, we've chosen to stick more to the movie universe, but what we loved so much about the book is the way it tells the story. You get a picture of this entire um, war, this period in history, through the eyes of many different people all around it. So we've gone for a similar thing with the game. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so we tell, we have in the release, the initial release, we have uh, three episodes, and each episode deals with a different group of survivors. So there's 12 characters in total in the game. That's fantastic. All playable. And uh, we've got an episode in Moscow, Russia. We've got an episode in Jerusalem, Israel, and an episode in New York City. Oh, that makes me so yeah. excited. I, the, I'm, I, I have to explain, I'm so, so excited because, you know, these are. These are, are very, very pivotal moments in the book yes. that take place in the, in exactly. the places you've mentioned. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've set yeah. in those locations. Cool, good. Now this game is uh, four player co-op. Yes. And anytime that something else is, is, has a, like a byline that's yeah. similar to another game, yeah. uh, it gets compared to it. So Left 4 Dead 2, or Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2, yes. the, the series, yeah. is also a four player co-op with zombies and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Tell us the difference okay, so that this game makes. You've mentioned the similarities, four-player co-op and zombies. Yep. Beyond that, we've gone a very different direction. Um, as I've already said, we deal with massive numbers of zombies in this game. So you'll be facing 500 at a time with okay. just four of you holding out against them. Um, and uh, it's third person as well. Um, and it's more of a, there are strategic elements to it which are completely new, new to the zombie uh, genre. So. You, when you're facing these zombies, you're going to have the opportunity to build up defenses from scavenged uh, defense kits that you find lying around. And you oh, have okay, to, okay. You've got limited resources, so you can't just build whatever you want. Okay. So you've got to think on your feet, grab what you have, and then uh, place it around the environment as best you can, um, and then grab heavy weapons and just face massive, massive numbers as they come pouring in. Um, some environments are closed, and so you want to use them in a certain way. Other environments, as a, uh, a scene in Moscow, uh, a huge frozen river right outside the Kremlin, completely undefendable, and you've got to do what you can to hold your ground. So, so yeah. what kinds of and weapons? No pills. No pills in our game. No pills. <laughs> yeah. No pills. <laughs> How about puke? Yeah. Uh, no comment. Oh. <laughs> there might be some puke. <laughs> um, what kinds of weapons can we expect to be using in this game? We have really gone for it with the weapons. There's a huge number. You've got three classes of weapons. You've got your primary, your secondary, and your heavy. Um, primary weapons, we've got something for everybody. We've got uh, assault rifles, we've got shotguns, we've got sawn off shotguns, we've got crossbows uh, with exploding tips, uh, no less. Um, and we've got SMGs, um, a variety of different of those weapons. Secondaries, we've got silenced pistols, sawn off double barrel shotguns, and then heavy, we've got uh, rapid fire combat shotguns, RPGs, heavy machine guns. We've gone for as much as we possibly can. You actually like with your with your cadence, your your speech pattern, and your <laughs> accent. You sound like you could be like a nefarious like <laughs> weapons dealer. Yeah. Like you like opened the trunk and you were just listing off all the stuff you have for sale and stuff. Yeah. Nice work. Have very you good. seen that scene in Taxi Driver where he goes to buy a gun? He's like, it's a very nice gun. I got this. Yes. Thing. I got this. That's that's me now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah. I'll be Travis Pick. Okay. That's scary, but yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. So the hordes of zombies in this game. I, I I think it's very, very unique because, like in the movie, yeah. they're going to just be constantly running over each other, and yeah. and that means that they could be piling on top of each other and yes, then indeed. running over the pile. So yeah. you know they'd be able to maybe possibly reach you on the second floor, yeah. where you think you're perfectly safe. Oh, yeah. So I think that's a really interesting thing to bring to this genre, especially. I mean we're. We're pretty much getting used to fast You can zombies. see right there, they're actually pyramiding up there now. Is, oh my god. And climbing the That's, walls. To me, that is terrifying. If I was playing this yeah. game, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's great because the guys have put such an enormous amount of work into the physics system that governs those, those zombies and how they move. And so you're never safe anywhere. There's nowhere to hide. Uh, they will climb the walls, they'll climb over buildings. And actually, when we were designing the zombies, we put a lot of thought into the psychology of the zombie. Um, because, of course, they have no fear. There's, they're not like another enemy where you can break their morale. They're not afraid of their own, uh, they're not afraid of injuring themselves. So if they see you, they will throw themselves from the rooftops. Um, they will climb through burning cars. They'll do anything to get to you and they won't stop. No, um, that's, that's one of the awesome things that, that we're talking about. 
uh, before we got on stage here was the the zombie AI and yeah. how they work and stuff yeah. like that. And I love, I've always liked the idea better uh, of an intelligent or a more like a, a hunter yeah. uh, zomb uh, yeah. zombie. Also, uh, can we call them Zeeks? We can call them Zeeks. <laughs> By yeah, the way, zombies are Zeke. sometimes called Zeeks in yeah. this game and the in the books and the movies and stuff. <laughs> so let's call them Zeeks from now on. Yeah. You heard it here. Uh, anyway, uh, no, I love the I love that uh, the idea of of hunting. Like they're they're trying to eat you for food or trying to trying to procreate, which yeah. are like the two basis instincts of yeah, yeah, any yeah. living thing. There's no zombie procreation in our game, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I'm afraid there's, yeah. There's... Oh, that's, so, that, that's yeah. what I meant. I didn't mean, like, making love. <laughs> okay. I meant, like, biting and, tur ah, and turning. Transmission. Okay. That's what I meant. Okay, right, I see, okay. Put your mind out of the gutter, man. Come I'm on. Like, what can I do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, they, do they, because uh, it looks like they flow like a like a ant hive. Yes. Or ant hive. Ant uh -huh. colony. Yeah. There you go. Ant colony, yeah. An ant hive, whatever. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's make some metaphors. Sure. Here. Um, but yeah, it looks like they like work like yes, that. Like they, do. like they swarm. They're not they're not just five hundred uh, kind of independent individuals. They respond as a swarm. Um, and so they will move and flow uh, not just with I mean when they see you, they'll move towards you the best way they can, but if there's a wall in the way, they'll pyramid up and try and get over the top of each other and, and over the edge. Um, but uh, also, a lot of them, if you shoot them and they collapse in front of you, the ones behind will just trample over the top of them. Just so, to get to you. Exactly, just to get to you. And I can tell you, when you're standing there and the only thing you've got is a, a you've run out of primary uh, ammo and you've just got your silenced pistol and you've got 300 <laughs> zombies coming towards you, it's pretty damn scary. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's going to be me, obviously, because I'm never, I've am i never been very accurate. I've always been a, a, a spray and pray kind of guy. Yeah. But, thankfully, you said there's a myriad of weapon choices, so yes. I can be the heavy guy. Yes, you can, like, yeah. Like, yeah. not well, just the heavy guy. But there's, uh, <laughs> we've got character development, so you've got progression. You, uh, I mean, as you build up experience, you can develop your character. You specialize in a class. You have a skill okay. tree. You've got weapon progression as well, so you're customizing your weapons and building up on that. Um, so there's just so much room for growth in the game. Can you tell us more about the characters? Are these player yeah. created or are these uh, specific characters specific. that you've written? Yeah, so we've written these characters. We've put a lot of thought into their backstories. Um, we try what I like so much about the book is uh, there's a lot of normal people who, who survived in the war because of characteristics they already had. We've gone down the same route. So in the New York episode that we're demoing, you've got uh, Arnetta Larkin, who uh, was a, uh, she's a woman, she's doing uh, cable rigging for a power company. And she's just trying to get home to her kids to see if they're still alive. We've got um, Tashawn Collins, who is uh, 